The Central Pennsylvania Festival of the Arts wrapped up in State College today. The weekend-long festival brings roughly 100,000 people to the Center County community annually. Six News reporter Lauren Hensley has a recap of this year's events. It was a wet start for Arts Fest, but by Saturday and Sunday, the sun came out, bringing the crowds along with it. Visitors come into town and check out dozens of artists from all over the country. It was a little soggy at the start of this four day event. Many outdoor concerts canceled because of the bad weather. But as with many other years, organizers are calling Arts Fest 2015 a success for the arts. I like to say that we had 125,000. You know, the crowd was really quite light because the weather was so dismal on Thursday. But yesterday it was really packed, and I don't really know if they made up for each other. I hope so. So, it, you know, there were times when you had to kind of elbow your way through, so. And police are also calling this weekend a success, too. With thousands of extra people in town, police amp up their patrols. Their call volume increases, but police say there was nothing major to report over the weekend. Police say the bulk of their calls all relate to one thing. Major incidents to report, um, you know, there was influx of incidents or increase in incidents mostly alcohol related, disorderly conduct, underage drinking, that type of thing. Arts Fest ended Sunday at five, but the work isn't over yet. A major cleanup begins to make sure the roads of downtown are back open for your drive to work on Monday. We start with taking down the reserved parking signs. The artists will bring in here, bring their cars in right to their booth and they can tear down lickety split. And believe it or not, the streets of State College will look like they look like two weeks ago at six o'clock on Monday night. So it's uh, quite remarkable really how quickly it all goes away. Organizers tell me that planning for next year's festival will start as early as August. Reporting in State College, Lauren Hensley, Six News.